The Deck Network. Build a deck. Two, one. Bam! This is The Deck Network, and I'm your host, Mike Danzilio, and we have the King of Queens himself, Mr. Matt Dalton, the co-host here, member at The Deck Network. It's all decks, all the time. All right, Matt, congratulations to us. I know, we've made this it. This is our sixth season of The Deck Network, fifth with Matt. Ratings went up huge after that first oh, yeah, year, yeah, you know. It adds a lot to the show. And thanks to all y'all that watch the videos and... Send in the emails oh, yeah, with the yeah. questions. We get this is this year was the best year. 2016 was the best year for the people watching the Deck Network shows. These shows right here, they help with their help them decide on how they're going, what they're going to plan for their deck. Decking can be very confusing. This composite decking and railing, and we try to take the confusion out of that. Process. And if you're planning a deck for 2017, mm -hmm. you're in the right place. Okay, so another one of our objectives to keep the shows under 15 minutes in length. So with that in mind, Matt, let's get going. Let's We're hit it. Today we are going to talk about Timber Tech decking. Now, we Timber, all know Timber Tech. Timber Tech is owned by Azac Building Products. When did they merge? Uh, three years ago, and they had a different name, uh, CPG Building Products, which is the main, main company. But two separate products right now, Timber Tech? Uh, they're, yes, they're separate, but they're starting to merge. A lot of the, the parts are what they call co-branded. Okay. And so we, we'll be talking to that further on down the line. But let's get right into this on our Timber Tech decking. Got the of website the, Of there. course, they have a Timber Tech decking website. And... You what we like about, about, the, about the deck, some of the decking companies is that they they employ the good, better, best sales scenario, which help, makes it easy for people. Now, good, we call that one, I call it the value option because you get a lot of decking for the money and compared to treated decking or cedar, it's far and away the best value. So I call it the value line. If you're building a deck yeah, on a budget, oh, yeah, nothing wrong with that. It's great, it's gonna last way longer than it would is ever gonna last and it's gonna look better yep. so much longer. So Matt, let's jump right in on the first one or the good, the good. one, which would be the uh, the terrain collection. And they have the terrain collection is split into two parts. They have the solid colored one. It's pretty sharp looking. Oh yeah, well this is the stone ash color. And again, it's a capped composite. What does that mean exactly? Cap quickly? composite is that you're going to have on the inside, you're going to have the composite, which is a wood plastic that. mixture, and the plastic is there for you know to to make it strong and last forever. And the wood, which we you know wood doesn't last forever, but when you encase it with all the plastic, it does. It gives it a little bit of stiffness. And then on the cover, which is polyethylene or number two plastic. In additives, they have additives for the color re and the uh, retention of the color and a few other things. The, the core of the board, it's called a co-extruded design, so that it'll have two parts to it. The platform is the composite, which gives it the stiffness and uh, resists expansion and contraction. And the cover is for ultraviolet protection and, of course, beauty. The faded so, stain there. Yes. So uh, this one is the stone ash on the TimberTech Terrain Collection, and it's a light brown. Now, a lot of times you may, excuse me, light gray, and you could use a border. A lot of times with this, there's different colors that we could use the border on. So let's just- How much are we looking for on these that? Are, the, this, uh, these three no colors, the uh, Stone Ash, the Sandy Birch, and the Rustic Elm for the 2017 season, I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to stick with the $2.59 a linear foot. Can't beat and that. of course, with any of the, uh, with anything you buy, it's how you pay. Credit cards always cost more, and quantity always costs less. Cash is king. Yeah, so uh, there's our, the two there. Now this one here, very pretty, the, sand, the sandy birch, a lot of times they'll use for a border. Matt, wanna grab the next one, please? This is the rustic elm. The rustic elm is the darker brown. Now that goes together really well. Yeah. We don't see too often just decks built with this is kind of on the dark side but when you put these two together meaning that the lighter color will be the main body of the deck and the darker color will be the border you get a good contrast and usually on the border that's where you'll put a dark brown railing that looks that's that would really very, pop yeah. that's very popular we're selling that all the time so again about 259 a linear foot for the terrain collection solid colors also in the terrain collection they have the variegated colors Ooh. And variegated or variegations are the streaks. You see those striations yeah. in there. Yeah, so this one is the silver maple and it has the, the black streaks. 
costs 20 cents more per foot for the streaks. Probably worth it because you get a pretty good look on on the uh, on the decking. So let's take a look at this. Um, let's go to the terrain collection on the website. That's TimberTech.com, of yeah. course. Yes. Yeah. And it talks about how the deck the, the decking's made. Let's grab the next one, which is going to be the brown oak. This is the one of the terrain collection that we sell the most of. This is going to be about 279 linear foot along with the uh, silver maple for 2017. Uh, they talk about how it's made, what it looks like. There's some photos on it. You can also get into, you can, they have a design tool that if, uh, of course, we go across the top and maybe in resources. Yeah, you can. Uh, Oh, look can, at that! You, you can, can build it out. Yeah, they'll, you can uh, they, they, you can build it right on your uh, on com on your computer. You can make it show all the different colors. That's good. Helps you visualize what your yeah. project could look like. Okay, so that's it for those the, the terrain collection. Remember, there's three colors. Sa uh, sandy birch is the light brown one. Stone ash is the light gray one, and rustic elm is the darker brown color. This is your good. Yes, and these are still in the good category, but they're 20 cents a foot more because of the variegations. We have the brown oak and silver maple. These will be about 279 a foot. So let's uh, ship these. Yeah, let's up. get these let's over. Get we'll get an intern in here to grab this. Thank you. Yeah. Let's hand it off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next one, the next collection is the tropical collection. Let me get this page to load. This looks sharp. Decking. Yeah, they, these are new products for 2016. They uh, usually it takes a year for it, a new product to take off, but this one was was selling pretty well right away. So we have the tropical collection right here, and we'll go to the tropical collection. There's four colors in the tropical collection. So this one right here is the antique palm, the more darker to medium brown it's not a super light one but it's it, you're not going to seem too they want to sell a lot of decking you can't make it too dark in color because it'll be hot they'll have some of them for border colors so this one is the um, the antique palm so you see this being used often yeah. for a border well that's a main color that's a that's a, that's a real popular color this one was the biggest seller for the, the 2016 season this is the antigua gold and, nice. and when people come in and they say, I want a wood looking product, this is one of the, like a cedar color. Yeah. This is one that fits that bill. This was the best selling of these four colors in 2016. This is the Caribbean Redwood. You always have to have a red decking. You're not going to sell a whole lot of it. I look at numbers and I see 8, 5% red. Red, not much. 60% brown whatever 40 percent in their gray it's in that zone and then somewhere in the red. northeast i don't know maybe yeah, it's yeah. based well, on where yeah, the located. northeast it sells a lot of gray but we still uh, we still sell more brown than gray up here then we have the amazon mist it's funky looking this is yeah it's kind of like a bluish slate color you know you see your blue stone yeah and uh, we have a real large walkway on at the uh, deck net cork at, studio and at the, the epicenter of yes. all things decking and uh, people yeah, like it good. it's a nice color this price point is about 269 oh excuse me 369 a linear foot so it's a dollar more That's per a jump linear up. foot yes it is it's quite a jump up but it's, and this is some, our middle middle grade yeah sorta. it's it's uh, it's it's more of a higher pricing but it's uh, you know middle of the road pricing but very good quality okay and um, yeah it looks sharp yeah we do really well with that line and the next one is going to be the Legacy Collection. Now right, let's ship those. Um, let's get, we're gonna get some, okay. The Legacy Collection, which is the one we sell the most of here at No Maintenance Decks. It has just a great wood look to it. Here's a very popular picture in the back here. If you ever go on the site and you can see this picture here, this is with the tiger wood decking and the mocha border and the Kona rails. It's done at night because you can yeah, see the lights. Sick. So you just turn down your contrast. Everything's digital. So you can play around with it and you can get the lights so it'll show more. But it makes that uh, tiger wood decking look a little darker and it shows the different variations on it. Now the Legacy Collection is 
you're going to have varying shades of color. That's the way they designed it because how many different colors this, in all? This this the four colors. And I noticed this one isn't scalloped like the other. No, ones. no, no. This, is, this a dense, is more expensive. This is a board. Yeah. Well, this is this is our number one line, so we're able to sell it. We buy so much of it that we're able to sell it a little bit better. Yeah. So for. Uh, 2017, we're actually going to go down in price on it because we're going to do a large buy. $399 a linear foot. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's uh, everything's getting more competitive, so we're going to be $399 a linear foot for the... Uh, for the high-end. Yeah, the high-end legacy decking. So this one is the one that we sell the most of because it's gray. This is ash wood. What a great color. As yeah. soon as we put it out there, and it has the... I don't know if you can see it. Maybe if you're, I move it around a little with all the with the lights here in the studio, you can see the ripples in it. That's called the hand-scraped finish. So if you ever go to a flooring store, you'll see hand-scraped finish on the wood. And, and that so, supports that. They're bringing the inside yeah, outdoors yeah, that's, to that's, continue the flow. Yeah, so... Very uh, similar style. Yeah, that's pretty and, cool. And that's what, of course, the look now is to go to make decking look like interior flooring yep. and they certainly were able to do that with this yeah, uh, legacy ashwood color 399 that's linear foot on those yeah, that's a big seller now here is uh this is mocha great color dark it's got the variations in what happens when we press that button there let's see well that's an ashwood decking right there well okay the mocha they're showing it here dark brown with the black variegations, styrations in it. Of course, you see the uh, hand scrape finish really well on the darker brown. You'll see a lot of decks just done in this. Looks great. Stands or you see own. it with a border. This is, again, a darker color. And you'll see it as a border color. Let's go back to that. Let's find that picture of that other one. This picture right here, right over here, That one, uh, that one is the tiger wood decking. This color decking. With what for the border? And you use the uh, the mocha on the border, the one we just had up there. Yeah, this is. Yeah, that looks good. That's a that's a big seller right there. Yeah. But you always always have to remember, on the legacy collection from Timber Tech, the the colors vary through the board. So it's not supposed to be every board looks the same, like you painted a deck. It's made, and it probably takes a lot more work to get it like this, but they vary in color. If you can see on this picture, when I edit this, I'm going to put, the, put it up, that you'll be able to see the, uh, the different colors. One end of the board is light, and one end of the board is dark. It's not always the same, and it just looks great. I wouldn't suggest doing a small, small deck in that unless you put the uh, Kona border like a if you have a uh, like a, a, a set of steps going up to a door a front door a back door and it's only a four by six or a four by four you'll see the varying colors more in something small when you see it in a large area then it looks incredible so keep that in mind if you're gonna make something small probably put the mocha border around the outside this one is pecan which is the next one that say pecan on there yep yeah so this one these vary also the this pecan color lighter parts of it will be the same as the tiger wood color and it's so they they do vary and they do cross over you see a lot of decks with this one it's because it doesn't have as much variations in the color as the tiger wood in the mocha does but the pecan and the mocha look great and you put the Kona Radiance rail on it, stunning. Looks beautiful. Yeah, great stuff. Remember, again, three ninety nine. We have we've already see, we've seen them all. We've seen the pecan, the tiger wood, the ash wood, and the mocha. And, they all look uh, good. That's, yeah, those that's are, the highest end of the Timber Tech line. There. Yeah. This one, this picture that's going to come up right here, right there. That's an ash wood deck. Yeah, it looks nice. It was in the brochure for twenty sixteen. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Great stuff. Beautiful colors. Love the product. Matt, that's it for the three. So remember, we have the good, better, best. We have the terrain collection as the good, the tropical collection as the better, and the legacy collection as the best. Pricing, $259 for the solid color terrains, uh, $279 
for the variegated color terrains, $369 for the tropical collection, and $399 on the legacy collection. Now we have a real good price on that because we just buy go through tons of decking so yeah we are up to our necks in decks here <laughs> so that's it for today's show i hope it wasn't uh it was fast enough for you yep we great way to kick it off um you want to email this guy any questions about this show or anything related to decking mike at the deck network.com or matt at the deck network.com you have any questions yeah, or comments like what's in my mug you can email me you find out oh um, yeah we get well, a lot thank of, you so much get, for this show mike it's been great speaking of the mug a lot of people write about Matt's mug. Very hotly contested. Well, you got this coffee in it. Because they, people say that there, there is an empty coffee. cup, but <laughs> no, it's full of Java. And this show was full of content. Okay, that's it for today's show. Ciao for now. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>